Aina. Yes. Uh, Akka, you can start the session. Pallavi Akka. Okay. Namaste, everyone. Pranams. Pranams to Patriji Guruji for giving me this opportunity on this platform of digital Swadhyaya Yoga of 21 days. I am Pallavi from Columbus, Ohio, your host for today. And I have been meditating for about five months now. And I love that we are able to connect with each other. And any question I have, any guidance I need, everyone is there to explain yeah, thanks, and to help me grow. So that is my journey so far, and I'm having a wonderful time of my life. I was introduced to PSSM through my friend, Deepika Yaram, who I love very much. Um, so thanks to her, and thank you all for this opportunity. Uh, today's speaker is Sheetal Pavar from Atlanta, Georgia. She is a mindfulness meditation coach. Um, and she lives in Georgia, Atlanta, with her beautiful family of husband, son, and daughter. She started her Anapanya Sati meditation in the year 2010. She realized her purpose of Anapana Sati meditation and started teaching while continuing her work in IT as an IT professional. She worked in several international companies and spread the meditation to the corporate world and her community. She's also a board member in PSSM USA and works with the teams to spread the knowledge and wis wisdom in the US of A. She likes spending time in nature, reading books, sewing, painting, and her painting with her daughter and cooking with her son. And today's book or today's topic is gonna be Magic Behind Speech from the book Vakshetram by none other than our dearest Guruji, Brahma Sri Pitama Patriji. So platform is yours, Sheetal. Thank you, thank you so much Pallavi for the lovely introduction. Thank you very much. Hello friends. My name is Sheetal again. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. My heartfelt pranams to our Guruji Brahmarshi Patriji and my pranams to PSSM Global Masters and my pranams to all the organizers of this digital Dhyana Swadhyaya Yoga. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for having me here. So I have started my journey in the year 2010. One fine day, one of my friend named Anila, she came to my home and she was describing all the benefits of meditation, all the experiences of meditation. I was so thrilled and surprised to hear her, the experiences and the meditation benefits. Then I thought, okay, why not I should um, experience this uh, meditation power. So the moment she left my home, I sat in meditation and I started doing, uh, I started doing my sadhana. So she suggested me to do for 40 days. So to see the benefits, I started my journey um, with 40 days meditation. And then I thought, okay, you know, I will see for 40 days and then I will decide what I need to do with this. And um, to my surprise, as I was practicing meditation, I started feeling happy without any reason. I was happy all the time. I was enjoying my life. I was uh, some somewhere from my heart, like, you know, saying, you know, hey, hey, uh, you are doing something nice. You are doing something right. Then oh, I thought, OK, you know, definitely there is something. And as the days were going by, I started increasing the time of meditation. So by 40 days, I was able to sit for hours together. So in 2010, only Anila Shrikant family was here. So not many masters here to uh, give the knowledge and wisdom. So we used to sit in weekends to discuss about all these things. 
and i'm really 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 thankful to spiritual india magazine that helped me a lot i would say you know most of the information i got about pyramid spiritual society's movements patriji about patriji about uh, the books that i need to read about the masters you know it opened a new world for me the spiritual india magazine so i i would go to their house and i would borrow spiritual india magazines and i read whenever i read i get surprised wow this master uh, described this knowledge this knowledge and then slowly slowly from that magazine i learned about patri ji so after um, realizing that you know patri ji is doing so much i should i should continue this and uh, i should because i don't know so much about it so he is telling okay you know i found my guru let me follow him whatever he says i am going to do that that's all i decided so what he says is like you know meditation uh, swadhyaya and sajjana sangatya i teach wherever you go so that attracted me so much and i started doing meditation anyway but i was not a book reader at all so i decided that you know i will take the book reading as a cha- challenge too and then um i started reading like a book i opened a book reading one page was so difficult for me to read so but still uh, and i took a challenge so i decided not to give up uh, reading on books i started my journey with the krishnananda books as i started reading krishnananda's books it started giving me immense joy because that book explained about so much like astral words astral travel uh, guru guru's work why we are here what is the reason what is the purpose of life and what are the saptarishi's work so much so much so much knowledge and that gave me enough interest to continue my book journey so after um, completing the book i picked up the soul's journey by peter richelu peter richelu's book is another out of the world book that gave me uh, the sight of like you know how we evolve as a soul what is the mineral kingdom what is a uh, plant kingdom animal kingdom human kingdom what not like you know it gave me so much joy and then it, so much relief for me because uh, the book talked about no death no death concept uh, there is a life after death there is a life between lives and um, we choose our lives we design our lives uh, we decide our our events and how we are helping each other in this world from astral planes so much knowledge so much knowledge and then the third book i picked up was the bringers of the dawn in bringers of the dawn that was explaining that you know we have come to this earth plan earth plane to help each other to evolve ourselves to help ourselves and help each other i was so surprised to hear those words because till then i was depended on gods that you know hey god help me hey god solve solve this problem hey god uh, uh, take care of my family and all all of a sudden that master was saying that you know you have to help oh, i was so surprised with that uh, book uh, i mean you know it was a complete shift from uh, dependence to uh, independence and then from independence to freedom that you know uh, i can okay i am here to help myself okay i am here to help uh, my fellow beings you know that gave me so much freedom to continue my journey so that's how i started my book reading journey friends and i love reading books whenever i find time i read books i keep uh, several books here and there in room in the office in the kitchen wherever i go i i i can read and i can continue um learning things from that and in meditation i have experienced so much bliss um, and uh, so many experiences um, i have received lot of intuitions i just follow my intuitions uh, blindly because you know somebody is guiding the higher self is guiding me and whenever i followed my intuitions um, that elevated me uh, so much because you know whenever i follow my intuitions i am uh, being detached from the um troubles i would say so i would like to share a small experience with you how intuitions helped after starting meditation so we all hear that you know when you meditate you get clear messages and uh, you will be um, uh, taken care by masters so in the year 2012 i was about to go to work in the month of uh, february i was about to go to work i got ready and uh, i sat in the car i turned on my car 
about to start my journey. My office is like 50 kilometers from my place. And then I started a car, something said, do not go to office. So I said, it's strange, you know, uh, do not go to office. But I, I started my meditation, right? And I was reading books, you know, follow your intuition, follow your intuition. Okay, let me try. So I thought, okay, you know, let me try. And then I turned off the car and I went inside. And my husband was so surprised you know what's wrong with you 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 are all ready and you are not going to office you are come back coming back home i i told him that you know i don't feel like to go to office i will work from home if it is not possible i, I will take a leave uh, and then i'm going to spend home and i also suggested uh, anyway i am home please you also stay home we stay together and uh, such an amazing experience uh, eight eight o'clock i came back to my place uh, and i started working 11.30, it started snowing. There is no alarm. There is no information that it is going to snow. It is No information is there. So slowly the snow started uh, uh, coming. And um, as we live in Atlanta, Georgia, there it is not a snow place. And we don't have any equipments to clean the roads or anything, right? So, and I was driving electric car by the, uh, at, at that point. So, it was so heavily snowing and 11.30 in the offices, they announced that, you know, everybody go home. Everybody go home because it is going to snow heavily. So people started uh, going home like in and out. Everybody were on the road. The road was jam packed and uh, uh, whoever uh, went to the office, my friends and my colleague, they had to stay on the road for 12 hours. And I'm so thankful for that master, whoever gave me that message. He saved me um, very big time, I would say, because um, I was driving electric car. I can go uh, go to office and come back. And I don't, I don't have so much charging to stay on the road for 12 hours. And uh, you know how tough it is to like, you know, be on the road in the cold and not turning on your car, right? So it was it was really really amazing intuition i received my kids their school is like only 3 4 minutes away but um, for them it took 3 hours to come home imagine that was a big mess in atlanta so from that mess master saved me and ever since uh, that intuition i decided okay you know i will follow no matter what it might be uh, it might not see um, seem to me that you know hey maybe it's not right it's not, but i never do that i just to follow the intuition uh, whatever masters gives that's how i started uh, uh, my journey and uh, i love patriji's concepts because they are so simple so powerful and uh, so enlightening you know in in telugu there is a saying says that you know um, um, sukshmam lo moksham that means every the big magic is in the simple things okay so i started listening to patri sir and i started uh, uh, reading his books and uh, i love the way he put it very simple way for new uh, new meditators or uh, um, like enlightened masters for everyone that books are so useful and um, that's the reason today i chose the book uh, of vakshetra because we are in a time and space where uh, the big spiritual revolution is happening. Everybody is awakening. Wherever I see, like, you know, during this, like, at least from the past six months, everybody is meditating. Everybody is uh, awakening. Everybody is trying to um, join in a spiritual journey to, um, you know, experience that oneness. So things are happening rapidly. So when things are happening rapidly it is so important to know our basic rules so that's the reason i chose this book and i love this book if you can can you see this book yes okay this is uh, the small book by brahmarshi patriji vakshetram from this book i learned so many things you know um, meditation taught me how to think how to talk how to act so all these concepts are kept it in this book in a simple and sweet manner. So I would like to share uh, some um, points from that book. I would like to share my screen. Uh, let me share my screen.
can you see my screen yes uh, we can see your screen okay okay yeah we yeah, can yeah, see. yeah we are seeing okay cool thank you so i would say uh, the speech is magic that's why i gave the title magic behind speech and uh, from book vakshetram by patri ji so what are words where it came from words are very very powerful gifts for human from cosmos uh, only humans has this gift on this earth plane right so animals cannot talk i mean from um, by words and uh, um, plants cannot minerals cannot but humans can communicate with this words and uh, this is the bridge between heart to heart like you know um the words are communication points the words are um heart to heart communication happens with words no matter where you go no matter um, uh, which country you belong to um or wherever wherever you go which country which uh, which city but the communication happens in words only so words are the expression of creative force through words we express ourselves through words we um, um we deliver our creative force uh, using words so before going to the uh, um the fields of words uh, patri ji mentioned three concepts in this book i would like to share with you all the three fields what we have is fields of thoughts fields of actions and fields of words let us see uh, one by one let's see fields of thoughts so thoughts are belongs to astral plane you are free to think anything there are no restrictions whatsoever you eat one gulab jamun and you think that you know okay i can eat one more gulab jamun that is you are thinking you can think anything you read one book and then immediately you think oh okay i need to read another book you are free to think like that and um, this is creative world you can you can free to think anything you can free to imagine anything there are no restrictions whatsoever so when we are aware it's up to you what you think what you imagine is you are all free there are no uh, restrictions whatsoever so we have been told that you know when you are uh, doing this you do not think of that when you are doing that you do not think of that i mean there are so many restrictions but in thought worlds it's up to you there are no judgments are going to happen you can think anything we are not in meditation in meditation definitely we are not thinking but when we are not meditating when it, it, you are free to think anything and uh, no judgments right like you know i'm not going to judge oh why did i think like that oh why did i have to uh, think this way it's okay it's okay so we should not judge that you know what we thought about uh, uh, things are uh, our imaginations right we are free to think and we are free to imagine uh, anything because the creative force from come from thinking and imaginations and uh, that's why krishna buddha uh jesus and other masters said not to worry so much about thoughts because you know um you are free to do anything in that thought world and then coming to fields of action actions belongs to earth plane thoughts are belongs to astral plane actions belongs to earth plane because we are on this earth we are doing and you can see what i am doing right you know actions like uh, walking eating sleeping dancing working cooking what not those are all actions and you can see uh, you can you can feel those are all belongs to earth plane and actions are all depends on uh, person to person like you know um, we always uh, talk about like you know this person is doing this action versus that person is doing that action actions are depends on the person's state of consciousness and let us see what are the consciousness levels of the person so these actions are depends on the gunas one one gunas one act what he or she carries inside so we all know that you know we take many births as uh, we ca- we take a birth with tamoguna and then we transform to rajoguna and then satvika and nirguna right so we are traveling uh, into that uh, oneness so we have different qualities of thinking different qualities of action 
we cannot say that you know the other person is doing this way versus that way their actions are not good their uh, their doing is not good their thinking is not good so much judgment we do uh, by not knowing the truth that you know everybody is evolving everybody has in their own state imagine friends like you know we had so much snow ever since uh this earth took place right so not even a single snowflake is same till now the research showed so the single snow flake is not same and how do you expect uh one person to be the same like other person no it is not going to happen our fingerprints are not same our voice is not same our eyes are not same and how can we expect the other person's actions to be uh, same uh so much a judgment right like you know we have to come out of that judgment we have to realize that everybody is progressing everybody is in very very beautiful state it is so important and that's why um, um patri sir always mentioned that you know baby souls young souls adult souls mature souls baby souls acts according to their uh, things right and uh, young souls adult souls master master mature souls so we we should never judge uh, uh, any person even ca- after coming into meditation uh, still we judge right? okay maybe uh, i am not reading books or i am not doing lot of meditation or oh, i am not doing lot of service um, uh, i am not doing anything i mean so much judgment happens we have to accept that you know we are in a right place and the other person is also in a right place and we are absolutely doing the things in a right way because uh, if you if you take the matrix um, it needs lot of uh, permutations and combinations right so if only one combination is there it is not a full uh, picture so so important to have all the colors in our life all the souls are important everybody is important every everybody's journey is important everybody's actions are important and uh, that is the realization we get when we practice meditation so then who you really are are you a uh, you are not a tamoguna person tamoguna person is like you know only um, doing for himself and who who is taking care of only family not worrying any anybody so um only he is living the life for only 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 for himself are you that no you are not that and are you rajoguna person rajoguna person is like you know um, doing service for others doing things for others um taking care of the community work are you that person no you are not even that person are you satvika guna person like you know this is good this is bad um uh, you do the right things uh, use your right intellect are you that person you are not even that person so then who you really are you are nirguna you are that we have to realize that you know we came from that um higher source and we are part of it and we are that it is so important to know that we are all one like our hand is one but the fingers are different but still the fingers are part of hand and when you talk to finger it will not say that you know i am i am separate i am part of this uh, whole uh, body it says so so important to realize that you know we are part of this brahmanda we are part of this uh, universal consciousness and let us come to the fields of words this is very 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 important so actions depends on the uh, person of state and the thoughts you are free to think anything you free are free to imagine anything there are no restrictions whatsoever but when comes to uh, the fields of words you have to be very 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 careful so be impeccable with your words the most important field you have to be, you have to be very careful when you speak what you are speaking and uh, you have to filter before you speak how much i need to speak is it really necessary is it going to elevate other person's uh, heart i mean we have to consider so many things before we speak and speak only needed you don't need to speak so much or less only speak as needed and you have to speak very scientifically always 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 
like you know think in thinking there are four types of thinking right even speaking four types of speaking so we have to uh, speak positive or miraculous miraculous speech so we have to be very scientific and we always have to speak truth whatever it is truth just speak and speak like a master so how do you practice this speak like a master sajjana sangatya meeting with other master meeting with other um, uh, meditation master learning from others experiences you get to know how they are talking how they are uh, responding how they are reacting all the things it is so 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 important to learn from this masters then only we can mastery this uh, fields of words it it seems very simple but this is the toughest part you know the toughest part how we speak how to manage our speak and how to um, control uh, over our speech and uh, mahatma gandhi our father of nation says that always sings this uh, uh, song right you know sabko sammati de bhagwan so he asked lord rama to give the right intellect to all because he realized that you know humans uh, does humans are not carrying the right intellect that's the reason they are not talking well they are not thinking well they are acting well so let us see uh, some uh, some states of people like where where they stand how they how they are talking so patri sir always uh, ask us to open your mouth and talk and share your experience by sharing your experience by talking to him he will come to know that you know which state this person is such an such an amazing and accordingly he is going to respond uh, so compassionately he is not going to judge anyone so compassionately like you know if a person is belongs to root chakra he will answer in root chakra only if, if the person is belongs to uh, crown chakra he will answer him in a, a crown chakra way but he never says that you know Uh, you are right versus you are not right. so uh, every time he has lot of compassion he has lot of love towards everyone but he uh, suggest everyone to fix their speech because this real spirituality lot of uh, real spirituality is in speech only so uh, a root chakra person speaks in a different way there are so many chakras right uh, sacral chakra solar plexus heart chakra throat chakra chakra third eye chakra crown chakra so root chakra person speaks about only his miseries his uh, day to day life and how to earn bread and butter and how to take care of family sacral chakra is like you know very um, interested in uh, being centered more powered self centered that kind of talk will be there and solar plexus he will be asking like you know i should be uh, i should get good seat i should get a good college i should be in a good uh, place you know all those things like you know in a good way but still it is a, a self level thing when the person is in throat chakra whoever is in throat chakra they don't think of themselves they always think about others that's why mahatma gandhi um, says that sabko sammati dei bhagwan because mahatma gandhi does not have anything to ask he is asking god to give right intellect to people so that's why mahatma gandhi is like uh, on th- throat chakra that you know he is asking for everyone and when it comes to third eye chakra crown chakra they don't ask anything because they, they realize that you know we create our own reality we are um, we are uh, responsible for our actions we are responsible for our words we are responsible for our thoughts we come to know so much in the third eye chakra and the crown crown chakra level um, crown chakra state uh, people do lot of meditation teaching meditation is their main thing you know they they just educate people you know you you are god you are you have all the powers within you they inspire so much they teach they inspire they practice more and they teach they practice more and they teach that is their journey so these are the uh states uh, where people are uh, now and then you know every state is so important and everybody is going to travel from one state to other and um, that is uh, that is for sure and we all know that jesus says what goes inside mouth that does not defile 
fill a person what comes out of mouth that defile the person so whatever you take inside food it is not going to um harm outside maybe it is going to harm you or maybe it is going to do something but it is not going to uh, pollute outside environment but what comes out of mouth what comes out of mouth are words right that is going to pollute uh, or that is going to either either it can make paradise or it can make hell right so words are so important jesus christ said like you know be careful about your words and uh, when uh, and also always talk truth like you know uh, just uh, you have to liberate people with your talk um let me share a small example here when jesus christ was walking on the street somebody touched his robe so he said like you know who touched my robe and one lady said you know uh, dear jesus i touched your robe because i touched the moment i touched your robe i got healed and uh, my parents got i mean they touched the robe they got healed that's why i'm i'm touching your robe and i i got healed and then immediately jesus christ uh, jesus christ said your faith has healed he did not cre create any dependencies that you know he just it's you it's your faith he is healed i did not do anything see that is the beauty of a um, true master the that is the uh, um, beauty of the person who is in the crown chakra so that's what he said and um, he always says that you know seek the truth and that the truth shall liberate you just to look for truth look for truth try for truth and the truth will liberate you what is the truth you belong you you create your own reality you are that uh, you are the part of that higher consciousness those kind of truth you have to understand in order to liberate yourself in order to give the freedom uh, to yourself right so it is so important and we all know that you know seth says you create your own reality friends this is very very important um we always think that you know somebody did this somebody did that and because of them it is happening because of them it is ha not happening so in reality doesn't matter it is like you know good or bad everything is happening uh, according to you are wish only you, we have to understand that if you are doing a lot of great work in the society lot of great work in the service uh, that is just because of you because you wanted to create that reality for yourself and you created that you have that power within you and you are doing that same thing right we are creating so much misery outside without knowing that you know we have power and uh, we blame uh, others like you know because of them i am having this issue because of this so so many uh, reasons we give to escape from the situation so we have to always remember that this is a very important statement we create our own re own reality friends um so you have magic wand with you uh to make this place paradise so it is so important to use your words very 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 uh fine way very uh, truthful way um to make this place paradise right uh, first we have to learn how to speak how to speak how to act and uh, how to uh, express our feelings in a proper way so that is very important and then use your power to inspire others when you are talking you have to inspire others you have to inspire them you have to elevate them you have to encourage them so that they will feel that you know wow you know even i can do it just like you know um, barbara marsinyak did to me that when she when i read her book she said you know you can do it and you are here to help that's it that small statement changed my life you know okay we have so much power in our words we have so much power in our sharings that you know we can inspire anyone and use your power to create uh, beauty around you you know um, like you know we always so we always have so much beauty here like in from starting from the family friends uh, society we can appreciate beauty wherever we go we can appreciate the food we can appreciate the um, the clothes uh, uh, the job the teachers what we have family good health what not right nature birds plants so much to appreciate you know appreciation is, is very 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 important the more you appreciate the more you receive friends because uh, 
in order to receive you have to realize what you have then only you can receive from the universe so and by to untruth cursing words so in the past we are used this powerful words uh, to curse people to create uh, misery for people to create uh, uh, fear in people like you know a uh, hitler hitler has great power in his speech but what he did how much bad he created for himself and for others the word is same the speech is same but what you are speaking is very important look at the misery what he created and those are all gone friends we are in new era everybody is like you know um, becoming the master of their own life and they are realizing their true pro- potential and they are become everybody is becoming like jesus christ buddha krishna lord shiva right you know they are they are bringing those qualities so there are no more uh, uh, untruth words in this world anymore so gossips are like viruses so it is so important not to gossip so um, when we meet with friends when we um, engage in our uh, community work so let's avoid gossiping whatever needed for that meeting you talk you come out when you are talking to your friend what was your purpose of that call okay convey your message and um, either you talk you share your experience and come out never ever ever gossip friends gossip will drain your energy like anything we are gaining so much energy by doing meditation and with one gossip with a uh, one minute gossip you will reduce uh, the energy of 30 day meditation imagine so much uh, um um energies it is going to consume so gossips never 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 uh, entertain gossips like somebody is talking too much just to cut them off and uh, or change the topic or say that you know bye bye and then continue your work and uh, be a good example for next generation so always the change should start from your family right so when you talk nicely how you are communicating with your family how you are talking about others in front of your family from there only your kids are going to learn okay so you are uh, you are trying to be good but uh, the kids are around your husband is around your family is around you are not talking well what you are teaching them you are teaching them that you know when you grow up you can be like this it is okay no that is not um, that is absolutely not okay friends so you have to be very careful first of all there is no gossips second you have to be very careful when kids are around you when you are talking they are going to catch each and everything they are going to i mean you know it's just a subconsciousness programming right you know whatever our parents did we did it now it is it is taking so much time to unlearn so many things so that we can rethink again and uh, um, reestablish our uh, patterns again it is taking like you know big big um, uh, big work for us to implement on this things so why don't we help our kids to uh, be free from that uh, that type of uh, work right so it is so important and self love talk friends uh, you can give only what you have what are you talking when you are talking to your friends you are talking oh i became fat oh i am not so beautiful oh i am feeling old oh my knees uh, i am I, i am getting old my knees are hurting i am getting gray hair so much of negative talking so much of negative talking about ourselves um like uh, forget about talking to others like you know even we don't even talk to ourselves uh, in a nice way we never say that you know i am i am beautiful however i am i am so uh, kind i am so compassionate i am very perfectly healthy all right i'm i'm not getting old i am still young so those kind of <coughs> talk you need to do friends because you know when you talk who is going to listen the first person to listen is you only so you have to be very 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 careful i don't know how far the other person is taking krishna says uh, in bhagavad gita he gives all the lecture all the gita all the knowledge to arjuna and at the end he says you do whatever you want to do and krishna says that you know our words are not going to uh, do anything unless they take it right so when we are speaking the first one to take is only us so it's so important to talk what we want to take from our side 
So the self-love talk is so important, friends, that, you know, uh, I can talk uh, wonderful. I can, I am beautiful. I am healthy. I am happy. I am very generous. I am very compassionate. All these things you really need to speak. Uh, do not judge yourself, you know, uh, do not, do not judge yourself. When you do mistake, that is absolutely fine. We are here to learn from each and every experience. Life is all about experience. If you do mistake, don't even think that it is mistake. Just to forget and uh, leave uh, that and come out because we should never, never, never carry the guilt within us. You know, we have to slowly progress. We practice and we progress. We practice and we progress, but never carry that guilt that, you know, I am not doing right. And when you can do right is when you decide it, decide to do right. You know, when you decide to do right, then only you can do. So decide friends, decide to be impeccable with your words. Um, then only, so once you decide automatically, the creative force will design your system in a such a way that, you know, hey, this system is not going to uh, allow any crap words from her mouth or his mouth. So we, it's a, it is, we have to only pump the right words. So we are God, we are also God, uh, God's friends. So we have so much power within us. You just order what you want and you will be given that. So you decide, okay, I decided to be Im impeccable with my words and that's it. And I would like to share a small experience here, like how our words are going to make a magic. So I read a book called Anastasia. So Anastasia is a beautiful, beautiful book that has eight series. And uh, I am talking from one of the book and a small experience. Uh, Anastasia visits a small town where um, they are sitting uh, like in a group of people are sitting together. And she notices one uh, uh, grandfather and a grandchild. And then they are, they are looking so uh, down. They are looking so dull. And she goes and she talked to her uh, grandfather. What happened to this girl? This girl should be very happy, very joyful. She's just four or five years old. Very happy, very joyful. Uh, she should be playing outside. She, why she is sitting here and um, feeling sad? And then he explains that, you know, her mother, she left this baby when she was young to make money, to make bread and butter, bread and butter for this girl. So, the, uh, and make some money so that she can take care of this baby nicely. So poor her, she goes, she leaves her baby with her father and she goes to city. And the city, in the city, her mother, she was not able to make enough money to come back and take care of the kids. So a lot of uh, 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 sadness is happening there. And a lot of sadness, in, sadness is th th there with the kid because, you know, she's missing her mother. Not only that, you know, she's not healthy kid too. And then Anastasia goes and uh, talk to that chill child saying that, uh, dear, uh, do you know why your mother left? No, uh, till that time, that little girl does not know why her mother left. Always grandfather says that, you know, uh, she went to uh, city so that she can bring toys, so that she can bring nice goodies for you. That's why she has gone. And when she comes, she will bring. So she is in that assumption. But Anastasia, she said she went to that kid and she told that truth. Okay, your mom went to make the bread and butter. Uh, and she uh, and make some money for you so that she can stay happy with you okay she can keep you happy she, she can give you joyful life and uh, what she said is you know you while your mother is working there why don't you be already happy tell you you be happy when your mother realized that you are already happy then she will come back. Then she will not have feeling that, you know, I have to go home, uh, take money, go home, take care of kid, right? So you have to practice being happiness. And that perception changed that little girl so much. Uh, till that time, the baby was like, you know, so down that my mother will come, then I will be happy. Then then we everything will go well. Uh, my health will get better and all, right? So much, uh, um, so much uh, sadness she was carrying. The moment Anastasia explained clearly, you know, she is a very, very great master. She told the truth. Your mother went just to take care of you and you be happy to, to keep you happy because you are not happy to keep you happy. So she said, you be happy, your mother will come. And then 
slowly the little girl thought okay you know if i am happy my mom will come back to me and then she started feeling uh, better and uh, she uh, she started getting up early uh, she is uh, treating herself and she is uh, dancing she is singing she started healing herself and she is helping her grandfather helping in the community she is gathering all the kids and uh, cleaning the roads so, so much she was doing so much she was doing and she was uh, bringing some woods and making something for her mother when she comes and she will enjoy she was making dress for mother just just before the talk she was completely helpless kid the moment she inspired um, this little girl with her talk she she has become totally a different person she has become one of the most important girl of the town so friends uh, from the childhood we have lot of power to inspire our kids right so we have to speak the truth we have to encourage them to be happy from now so and uh, the other thing is uh, words should create heaven for us right you know generally if you see that uh, we say healers doctors right so when you go to doctor why do you heal because of their talk only we heal like you know when we when whenever you go to hospital like especially when i used to take my kids to the hospital when before coming into meditation like two three days fever after that i go to hospital and the doctor says that you know everything is fine that's it the moment i come home the fever is gone how it is gone it is just just uh, the talk so doctors and healers have that power to heal anyone and everyone that's why they are they are doctors and they are, they are healers not only them we are all doctors we are all healers we have that power to heal anybody with our words not with our energies but with our words so it is so important to speak when whenever we go some people when like in family members people get sick right we just to go and console them uh, like you know hey how are you feeling are you feeling okay you are taking tablets so much low we talk and in, in fact uh, uh, like you know elevating their energy we go and we make them even down that you know hey you take care you be careful how much uh, how much damage we are doing go there spend time with them happily make them laugh do not talk about their health just to uh, talk something nice where they can enjoy you bring bring back their happy memories so that their body can generate a good um, chemical so that they can heal better right so we have to change our thoughts we have to change our thinking completely like you know after coming into meditation really 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 i learn even how to talk everything we have to do reverse engineering here inner engineering reverse engineering so everything happens in pyramid spiritual societies moment the moment we enter here that's it all the uh, all the washing happens everything like you know you wash 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 and slowly you build your kingdom so that's what uh, happens friends when your words are inspiring and you create peace here so words are so very important and um, uh, very very uh, important part so i love this book because whenever i feel like uh, uh, reading any book i just go read this book uh, because that explains what is the power behind actions thoughts and words and with the words we can create magic here so with uh, patri sir's words how much magic is happening you see uh, how many pyramids we have built how many meditators we are uh, creating like we are creating a beautiful place here people all, all around the world are attending our sessions and uh, practicing meditation uh, reading books uh, sajjana sangha that so much is happening just with the words so word words has lot of power friends we have to use our words very 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 wisely and thank you thank you thank you so much friends um, we have lot of goodness in this world so leave uh, leave this as like swans right you know leave everything just take the good from the world and continue your journey so this is what i want to share today uh, from vakshetra that was um a very inspiring and lots of lots of um uh, simple pointers that we can all practice in our lives thank you very much sheetal i just wanted to um run a little review um there were so many um points i was able to connect myself so quickly and easily 
And I am so glad that you spoke about this book today um, because it shows that using our words to inspire, should be to inspire other people, whether it's your children, your family, your, doesn't matter where you are. That's how we should be. And then, you know, I always used to be lost when I went to visit people who were not well. And I didn't know what to say. I really didn't. I would just, you know, talk about everything else but their illness. And, and when you said that today, I was like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That was, like, amazing to me. And then when you said about Gandhiji, how he, he his um, level of um, which chakra connected with with Gandhiji was his throat chakra and how he was talking about the Sabko Sanmati De Bhagwan. That one also, I was like, oh, wow. Because it always reminds me of a quote of be the change that you want to see in others by Gandhiji. So I was like, oh, this is amazing. So thank you, thank you. Um, absolutely wonderful, very insightful. And so far, nobody has any questions. Um, but again, thank you, Sheetal um for today and your time i mean there were so many other uh pointers i mean it, it's like literally having a book of yourself with all my notes you can see i wrote too many notes <laughs> so this is this is amazing um so again thank you Sheetal, for this um and wonderful connecting with you thank you Pallavi. happy you. person thank you Thank you so much. And this book is really a uh, Bible for me, you know, uh, when everybody should read this book, actually, it's a very small book, but a lot of information. So I thought this will be a very, um, very inspiring book for many. So that's why I chose this topic today. I'm going to connect with you personally. So this is this is an amazing session. Thank you. Thank you. So um, today, uh, if there's nothing else, then I wanted to go ahead and talk about our Spiritual India magazine. Um, it is provided by Spiritual Society Movement. It is a bi-weekly magazine and um, it brings us spiritual science concepts and also spiritual uh, concepts and shared by Patriji and other spiritual scientists across the world. It is a spiritual journal of meditation and spiritual sciences. So um, Sai, do you want to go ahead and run the video? Thank you. That's it for tonight, uh, today, and you guys have a wonderful yeah. evening. Ma'am, uh, yeah, this, this is Suresh. Uh, Sheetal, Sheetal, can, I, can I talk? Yes, yes, yes sir, please. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sheetal ji, you gave a very, very uh, wonderful session. It's very uh, quite uh, uh, understandable in simple words that Manasa Vacha Karmana. And what we think we should speak, and what we speak, we should put it into action, implementation. That's what you are really uh, doing. And you quoted the Mahatma Gandhi's words very uh, aptly. Also, you told only two words uh, for uh, getting independence to India that is, quit India to the Britishers. Britishers, uh, British kingdom was shaped by these two words because millions of people stood behind him. 
because he has that uh, meditation meditational power and geeta patana so because of these two things mahatma gandhi got such enormous power and the britishers uh, left uh, india and gave independence to us and he quoted jesus christ and uh, uh, very very apt uh, session uh, and how one should uh, elevate from kamogoda uh, to nirguna and uh, ba- bala atma to nirguna atma he wonderfully uh, you have presented is useful uh, for every uh, prime minister and non prime ministers uh, once again an enlightened speech on this no it is a small book is very cream cream of the uh, cream one should follow every humanity every human being has to follow uh, that is the greatness of our brahmashi pitama patri ji uh, who brought the entire uh, humanity under meditation vegetarianism and the do meditation in pyramids so the whole concept uh, it is shaking the world now we are seeing this uh, uh, zoom sessions and technology is uh, improved we have uh, adding early days we used to think how we will get the jnana jagat see how now this is the proof of the last 6 months we are one we are like one wherever you are you are in atlanta i am in hyderabad india how we are talking it's a, how that's how we got jnana jagat and uh, definitely we will enter world with commander sahar jagat also everybody realized the importance of vegetarianism to be away from non vegetarianism uh, wonderful uh, speech simple words as you are looking your words are so very pretty uh, once again thank you thank you very much for uh, sparing such a valuable time and giving a simple and transformable speech thank you once again shri tarji thank you sir it is really my um, honor to have uh, Uh, sessions like this you know thank you for the opportunity sir you know you. i really feel very happy whenever i speak uh, concepts from patri sir because those are the yeah. one uh, are like you know energy for me so i he, always he is a, yeah he is a living legend uh, you can say that yeah, yeah. what not uh, everything he speaks everything he gives uh, but one should be uh, ready to receive He is ready to give enormous knowledge, any enlightenment, enlightened knowledge. Yeah. Thanks once again, Shita. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, Suresh. Sir. Thank you very much for your summary as well. Um, you yeah. did really well. <laughs> you were yeah. able to connect everything properly. Yeah. <laughs> um, so thank you for that, Suresh. And thank, we have a couple you. of comments. Um, one of them says we got. It was a good set. good session and beautiful so shital that's all you thank you for that and someone says from phd cci chandigarh he says i like your sessions but yesterday could not connect was there any session yesterday please share what i missed so i'm going to leave that to the panelists uh, to take care of that Um again Sheetal thank you so much and Sureshi thank you again and thank you for connecting with us and again thank you for this wonderful wonderful opportunity um and have a wonderful day beautiful day so Pallavi signing off from Columbus Ohio <laughs>